Well, we've had some major developments overnight uh, regarding financial sanctions against Russia. We had that agreement mm. between the US, UK and EU to block a number of payments, global payments from that system called, called SWIFT. Robert, can you just talk us through what the system is um, and how a significant move this is? Yeah, so as you're saying, Charlie, late last night, the most uh, dramatic set of punishments against Putin's Russia in the form of sanctions uh, and the expulsion of uh, Russian banks from the SWIFT system for most of their transactions. Now, just to explain, SWIFT is the electronic system that allows banks across the world to transfer money between them. And what it effectively means is that Russia Russia will not be able to pay for uh, imports anymore. It will also be almost impossible for Russia to export much of what it wants to sell to the world to keep its economy going. There was a separate, incredibly important punishment imposed on Russia, which was its central bank will not be able to use more than $600 billion of reserves that it's built up. It built these reserves up because Putin wanted to be able to use these uh, reserves to, in a sense oil the wheels of the Russian economy in the event that its banks were shut out of the of global markets. Uh, so what I would expect to see tomorrow uh, is first of all the ruble, the Russian currency absolutely collapsing which will put up the price of almost everything for Russian people. There's a risk of rampant inflation um, and there is a risk, and I talked about this actually on uh, News at 10 last night, that banks will go bust, that Russian people and Russian businesses will panic, try and get their money out. We'll see bank runs uh, and, and a full-scale crisis of that, of a financial crisis. Now, just to be clear, because the West, particularly Germany, Italy and the European Union, are so dependent on Russian oil and gas, they are going to try and shape these restrictions on Russian banks, restrictions to use the SWIFT system, to all business excluding oil and gas. I think they will probably struggle to do that, but nonetheless that is what they're going to try and do, because of course if Germany and Italy were unable to purchase vital supplies of oil and gas, not only would we see uh, the gas price soaring even more than it has already, and it is hitting levels we never thought we would see. Uh, it would uh, Germany and Italy would also slightly struggle to keep the lights on because they are so dependent on oil and gas. But, but Robert, as we know, this isn't the first time um, uh, that, that Russia's had to um, deal with sanctions. So what do you think Putin's reaction will be this time round? So look, these are significantly worse, more punishing sanctions than Russia has ever faced from the West. They're very similar, actually, to the way that we shut the Iran, the Iran economy um, out of the global economy. And you, you can recall the extraordinary impo impoverishment that then followed in uh, Iran. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, the answer is I don't really know how he gets out of this hole because really quite quickly Russian citizens will feel a lot poorer. And even if he continues to be able to control the information they're seeing about what's going on in Ukraine and deprive them of uh, you know, the footage of the really terrible things that Russian soldiers are doing, they're just going to feel incredibly financially insecure and a lot poorer. So, you know, the, obviously the hope of the West is that these sanctions will increase popular pressure against Putin to pull back from Ukraine. Obviously, however, we can't be certain because this is a very determined, some people think actually he's you know, not behaving remotely in a rational way, he's behaving in an emotional way. We can't be certain that he will do that. Uh, but this is, as I say, by quite a wide margin, the toughest action that the West has ever taken against Russia and, um, you know, in many ways is, is much more significant than the military help that it's giving Ukraine at the moment.